Susie is selling special slow burning candles. If her 10 inch candles burn at a rate of 1 inch an hour, which equation describes this scenario? So we're going to have four different equations here, A, B, C, and D, and we have to pick one of the four. Okay? Now, after one hour, a candle will have burnt one inch. One inch will be gone, so how much is left? Nine inches is left after one hour. So if you had to make an ordered pair, you'd say one, after one hour, the candle's nine inches. Okay? All right? One hour, nine inches. Now, after two hours, another uh, inch will be gone, so you'll only be left with eight inches. So uh, you, that'll go with the point two, eight, won't it? Two hours, you'll have eight inches left. Okay? After three hours, you're going nine, eight, seven. So three corresponds with seven. And then four, five, six, you'd say four, and you take away one. Nine, eight, seven, six. And after five hours, you'd have five inches left. After six hours, you're going six, five, four. You'll have four inches left. Now let's take a sheet of graph paper and start graphing these ordered pairs. Where is one, nine? You're going one to the right, and we're going up to the nine. Okay, so there's the point one, nine. 2, 8, you're going 2 to the right, and up what? Here's your 8. And then 3 to the right, and up 7. 4 to the right, and up 6. 5 to the right, and up 5. And so on like that. Okay, so you just keep on going down at this rate here. And after 10 hours, the whole candle's gone. Okay? Now don't forget at point zero, at point zero you had a 10 inch candle. So you had the point zero 10. Okay? Now it looks like this, this is sloping upward to the left, hence we have a negative slope. If this thing was going upward to the right, you'd have a plus slope. But as you go um, up, you're pointing upward with the left hand, so that makes a slope of negative. And you're going up one over one, up one over one. So you have a slope of negative one. And the y-intercept, we said at point zero here, the, the candle was 10 inches, uh, 10 inches, okay? So the y-intercept is 0, 10. Now we have our y-intercept. Don't forget these two things right here, the slope and the y-intercept. We have our slope-intercept form as y equals mx plus b. So in place of m, since we have a slope of minus 1, I'm going to put a minus 1 in there for the m, okay? And b is 10. Okay, when you put 0 in here, 0 times 1 is 0, and when x is 0, then this y must equal 0 plus, there's your 10. So there's your y-intercept, slope-intercept form, negative 1x plus 10. Okay, uh, so this is the equation. Of my four choices here, well, let's, yeah, let's rewrite this as 10 minus 1x, or 10 minus x. So now you can see my choices here. The only one, this has a slope of plus 1. This has a slope of negative 10. This has a slope of plus 10. We want a slope of negative 1. So negative 1 must be in front of the x. The only one that has a negative 1 in front of the x is right here. So we have 10 minus x. We're going to pick answer B.